Hello world, my name is Silver Draconis, and welcome back to Deep Dungeons of Doom. In the last couple episodes, we've been reading encyclopedia entries and doing a bit of grinding. We're slowly building up our skill set for our different uh, peoples, and I have all of them for the Crusader, which is great, because he's my favorite. I still need two for the Thief Rogue dude, and I still need one more for the Witch. Uh, the reason I got the witch more than the thief is because I needed to use her and do her special secret, which if I remember correctly, I have not done. I'm working on it. I did do the coal mine though, I managed to get a power berry and I ended up using two revive tokens on the fucking thing, because I was doing the zacrum tree. And I ended up, I, I used the witch for one of the runs, I didn't even have any good equipment because I just wanted to try and get better at her, and of course that was the one I found the power berry on. So then. I died, unsurprisingly, as the witch, and I had to use revive. And then I did it again! So I used a couple of revives, but I got my power berry, because damn it, I wasn't losing that after the amount of time it took me to friggin' get it. So, we got the power berry from the old Zacrum tree, now we just gotta pass the mage's tower, and again, I'm gonna do this one off camera, uh, because, frankly, oh no, I shouldn't do it off camera, because mm, we haven't seen it. Oh, poo. It's just this dungeon takes so long to do, it's bleh, I don't know, I don't know, mm. We'll leave it for now, I won't do it off camera, but I'll, I'll dedicate a different episode to it. But right now I'm having fun reading, reading entries, and I, I want to get that last skill for the witch, just to make it easier. So we'll start off by reading a couple, if I remember right, we went to, that's not what I wanted to do, where do I need to go? Oh yes, I know what I'm doing, don't question. We left off on the down 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 down. We left off on the poison witch, so that should have been all the witches taken care of and done. And now we're on to the possessed armor. I'm reading it first this time because I want to see about doing a couple, maybe a bit longer one than the beginning one. So possessed armor, a wicked entity ready to fight for the other world dominion over this world. Unfortunately, it possessed an armor and a sword instead of a bunny. That is very unfortunate for us. Probably not for it, though. Practice dummy! Good old practice dummy. It may look like a harmless dummy, dummy, but after years of constant beating, it was the first to lie in the joy the demons. Lucky for us, it doesn't do much. <laughs> Red demon. Malevolent being forged by the flames of hell itself. Yeah, it feels about that way, frickin' annoyer. Revenant. A visible ghost who came back from the grave to terrorize the living. And we'll do Sewer Zombie and Skeleton. Sewer Zombie. Unlucky folks who died in the sewers reanimated by black magic to serve dark purposes. And the Skeleton. Once heroes that tried to cleanse the dungeon from evil, now they are a part of it. Bam bam bam! Alright, so we're gonna do a little bit of adventuring. Do I have any missions that are any sort of good? Fight a monster called Possessed Armor, get blocked, blah blah blah. Okay, no specific dungeons, just stuff. So we're gonna do... We're gonna do the lake, because I like the lake boss. It feels cool. I don't like the mermaids, but oh well. Oh shoot, I forgot to check sound level. Oopsie, I'm professional, I swear. Okay. Sorry if that was a little bit loud. I forgot to check. I turned it down a bit. I don't think it was too badly, but you never know. It is loud in my ears, though, so I gotta turn down my own volume. There we go. Mucha better. Alright. Attack! Give me cool shit. That's not cool shit. I also did get an achievement, which is why I have uh, crap stuff right now. Uh, because I dropped off all my good shit and then I did a, a stupid achievement where I died to poison. <laughs> I got myself down to like one heart and then I drank poison to make sure I would die. So I got that one. I'm still trying to figure out the best, because I don't know why I just feel like getting the achievements for these games, normally I don't care, but here I am doing a secret run and I'm trying to get achievements and stuff, like why? Why do I care? I don't. No, I usually don't give a rat's ass about achievements, but here I am. But 
there's an achievement for dying in one hit, and I figured the best person to do that with would be the, the mercenary, but I'm not sure what boss do that, because there doesn't seem to be any sort of list for, like, attack powers and stuff of different enemies. Like, I can't figure out what enemy would be the best one to do that in. Because even as a mercenary, and I got, and if I got things to, like, I, I could get, try and get things to, like, lower his max health and stuff, but even then, it's just like, he would still have at least, like, probably like five, six hearts. At the moment he has two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight hearts. So I need something that does like eight points of damage reliably, but what that is I don't know. Because there is no... There's no way to see that. Which sucks. Oh god, I haven't had to start already. I forgot how fast this was. You know, I could probably hit that before that second attack hit me. I'm gonna try that. I'm fast. Or oh, never mind, I won't try that because he's dead. He dead now. So we'll try that next time. I do want to see how much money I need because right now I have I did recently buy it, which is why I have so little money. I recently bought his last skill. And I want to get the witch's one next, and then I'll focus on the merc. So let's see. This one gives me 3 max HP, 10 resistance from physical damage. That would give me critical chance. This one gives me 10 chance. But I probably would want this one. Uh, because I have a problems keeping her alive. If I had something that helps regen magic even more, that'd be great. This one gives me 2 magic per floor, and I have another one that gives me 1 magic per floor. Yeah, that one. So I get three magic per floor. That's still not a lot, because I use a lot of attacks. And then without her magic, she does crap damage. In comparison. But yeah, I'll probably go for this one. But yeah, the last skill that you get costs 1500 so I only very recently got uh, the Crusaders, and I did like one other dungeon. One or two, I, I don't remember exactly, but... So I'm pretty low on funds right now, and then I still gotta get his last two. This one could be good for trying to get the achievement that I was talking about, because I lower 2 max HP. Uh, I'm not sure what I would want to actually get, though. This one sounds pretty good. The Sympathy for the Devil, and then there's the last one, which is... 5 agility, 5 attacks, 6 chance to evade, critical, 6 magic, magic. Probably this one. Enjoy the silence. So this one and this one, but I kind of want to get this one as well, just to switch between when I want to try and get that achievement. But that is for later, because right now I want to get the witch, which is 1500. Ugh. A lot. Sorry, I know I'm just like laying out all of my plans and stuff, but it helps me to talk about them so I remember what the frig I'm doing. So, where did we leave off on? Oh, so far down! We left off on the skeletons. Now we're on the troll! One of the easiest enemies, actually. I mean, he does a lot of damage, but he's so easy to block because he's so slow, and it allows me, like, if I'm the Crusader, I can get health back. If I'm the Witch, I can get magic back. It's great. Alright. Ugly, huge, reckless, and slow witted. Trolls are considered a danger and a threat to humans. To avoid becoming food, you should stay away from their caves. Good, solid advice. Undead moose! These are interesting little buggers. Unfortunate animal who had the accursed fate of being found and conquered by black magic. They are, these are one of the more interesting enemies. So it's just like, yeah, you got the skeletons, the tro I think I talked about this before, but you got like your typical like skeletons, trolls, vampires, werewolves, zombies, blah blah blah. But this is like undead moose. Like, that's so interesting to me. Uh, vampire. Most modern vampires are all sparkly and lovable, but this one likes to keep it retro, which means he will drain all the blood from your dead carcass. Lovely. Keeping it old school. Werewolf. Th th oh fuck. Thero 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 therinthropic. Therinthropic. I don't fucking know. Wolf-like creatures believed to be humans cursed to live in berserk and eternal bloodthirst. Alright. Oh my god, we're at the end. These are the last entries! Holy shit! And the Zacrum Devil. These hang creatures were once men that had no more reason to continue living. Now they find it comforting to beat heroes up. Still want to know what they're throwing at us. 
Then there should be, yeah, bosses. All right, so let's go back and do another dungeon run, and then we'll read on the bosses. Or we'll start reading on the bosses. We might not finish them. Who knows? Let's do the sewer again. That was fun. I enjoy the sewer. I don't know why. I just enjoy it. The mermaids are a bitch and pain in the ass, but I really like the boss. And I want to try that theory again of... Fuck you, Rebirth. I really want to try that theory of if I can get in a second hit before the... Uh, last attack. So next time I level up, I'll take agility. I don't know why I switched that. Just to help me. Do, 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 do. Ba -da. No, I don't want to meet you at the end of the dungeon. Give me that bloody shrine! <laughs> uh. Alright, so I'll take an agility just to get my speed up a little more so I have a better chance of doing my plan. I am so lucky I blocked that because I kind of hit attack and block at the same time. Bleh, die. Yeah, this is the poison that I use to get that that chief. No. Be gone. Be gone with you! I know what I'm doing. Theoretically. I've been doing it for a while now. Apprehension! Yeah, this is a really fucking short dungeon. I forgot how short this was. Okay, let me try this theory. Oh, he have No, I can't. Oh, lame! Dead. Alright, let me check the time real quick. Twelve minutes, that's not so bad. Let's go back to the encyclopedia, and this should be the last section. Yeah. All right, Azernoth. This is the horrible eldritch horror that we fight in the sad village. Azernoth. What a hideous name. At least it fits this perfect. Cre at least it fits this hideous creature perfectly, and that it does, with its sentient tongue. Ugh. Bearbot. The frozen cave boss who is a mechanical bear this golem bear it the go no not this golem bear i can't read today the golem bear it may look like a regular scary bear but it's actually a huge robot killing machine programmed to kill the killing machine the killing machine that's programmed to kill the killing machine that's programmed to kill you to kill the from the killing machine <laughs> reminded me of the freaking uh emperor's new groove the the poison. The poison chosen to kill Cusco. The, the poison to kill Cusco. The poison chosen specifically to kill Cusco. The poison. Cusco's poison. It's like, <laughs> uh, Anyway, I'm going off. Damien! The monastery abomination. The sacred unholy heart is strong with this one. Drasada. The parasite mouth. A very big blossom that smells really nice, traps unadvised people, and feeds on human flesh. Lovely. Frostbitten. The graveyard god. Legend says that, although he doesn't need to, he usually possesses dead bodies to scare cowardly, greedy travelers away from the altar of the dead gods. Interesting. That's why the go when we kill them, that ghost pops out. That's him. Cool. Hicks. Hinks. Whatever his name is. The corrupted mage. A very powerful and wise mage who messed with a darker power he couldn't defeat. I'm just gonna blast through all of these and then we'll do one more dungeon run before the end. Krom, the lake beast. Said to inhabit the lake even before humans came to this land, the beast served no one. Should you cross this path, it will surely turn you into dinner. And N481516. The Stolen Digger. A goblin decided to use his killing machine to get back at the orcs that used to bully him. Ah. Pitch black. The Sewer Terror, nesting in the king's castle and splitting plague throughout the water, is said that no usual weapon could hurt its body, and no living thing could survive its bite. Except we did, and we killed it, and it's dead now. Siat, the Witch Queen, don't be fooled by her near nerdy, innocent, cute face. She will rip your heart off your chest and make soup out of your soul. And the Devil, ba ba da ba ba da ba. His infernal majesty himself, 
a dead god who's always finding ways to rise and punish the world with darkness and despair. Alright, so that is all of the encyclopedia entries. We'll do one more Lake Trump, and we'll end it there. But I, I, find, I find those... I find those really cool, if I could speak. But I, I find those really cool and interesting, and I like the tone that it kind of uh, sets. It, it's like kind of, kind of witty, sassy, sarcastic, but at the same time, it's just like, yeah, these things will fuck you up, and they're horrid. Way fucking cool. Slice, slice. Mystical shrine. Man, I'm sad that my, my theory didn't work. No, I don't want to know more about attacking. I understand the concept. I'm simply shit. Apprehension, and we're here. God, I love the frickin' boss music. It's so good. Fuck, that, that so irritates me that I can't do that. I'm gonna take the hit. Just to defeat you faster. <laughs> Alright, but that's gonna do it for this episode then. In the next episode, we'll be working on trying to get that last secret. Where it might, who knows, we might do it in the next episode. Who the frick knows? Or we might, it might take a while. Because the, the same problem I had with the Zacrum tree, and what I was starting to have with this one, is that... You guys haven't seen the secret yet, and I want to show you it, but at the same time, it's really freaking difficult, and I don't know when I'm gonna do it, so this might take a while. It might not. Who knows? It's all up in it's all up in the air, but we'll get there hopefully soon. If it does start taking way too damn long, I'll grind it off camera. But like two or three episodes isn't bad, because uh, I gotta grind anyway. But if it gets longer than that, then I'm just gonna say screw it and do it off camera. And maybe try and find a way to splice in or like start recording. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully it won't take more than two episodes though, because Jesus. I will be grinding. I will be just flat out grinding off camera, but not, not this one. I'll just be grinding in other places, trying to get better at the witch. I'll probably go back to the oldy cold mines because they're my favorite place to grind as I've stated why multiple times anyway I'm blabbering and this is dragging on forever so I'm gonna end it here next one we'll be trying to do the mages tower and finally get the last friggin secret so we can beat the game again and go back to over here and get the last 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 secret and get the best ending possible yes but until then <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. If you got any tips or tricks or anything you want to see me do, comment down below, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!